Well, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just doing an update video of the USS Excelsior. Uh, got most of it built. I uh, still got a few things to do, some light leaks and all that. Uh, gonna let it dry and finish up overnight, and and uh, uh, still got a few parts to put on, but for the most part, she's done. So I'll swing around and show you what's going on. All right, guys. Well, there she is. Uh, put together. Um, you can see that I've got some tape here holding on the holding on the nacelles and these front pieces. Uh, <clears throat> and the back pieces there it goes over the the uh, nacelles. Um, had a little bit of trouble with the actual nacelles because they were the uh, had a little bit of trouble light blocking, but I finally got it. Used some of the uh, testers uh, clear blue in the little bottle. Used my air gun, and then what I did, uh, it, I put it on here and tested it, and um, you could still see the hot spots. There's still quite a few hot spots here. So what I did is I put a clear uh, a coat of light gray and uh, let that dry put it on there and you, there were still quite a few hot spots you could see and um, so what I did <coughs> excuse me is I sprayed a coat of white over that and uh, it got rid of the hot spot so now it all just looks like one one big uh, engine and, and I will tell you right now that the um camera is gonna wa is washing out the lights it is not as bright as what it is in person so uh in person it's it's half as bright so it, it looks it looks so much better in person than it does uh on camera and you can see here I got some light got some light leaks got to do that on around the nacelles um <clears throat> I'm flip the see if I can flip it over here on its side you can see got a light leaks here and then uh, at the rear down there by those rear photon torpedoes uh, and then I've got a seal um, around the bottom of the saucer you can see that light leak there um, I will tell you there is just not a whole lot of room to put a lot of lighting in here but um, <clears throat> it looks good I got my uh, I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, this is not the <laughs> This is not the original either of the two um, bridge domes, either the NX2000 or the NCC2000. This is the uh, NCC1701 bridge from the refit. Uh, the uh, client requested that. Uh, kind of changed things up a little bit. So it looks real good. I got my strobe up in there got my floored li uh, floodlight that comes out and it shows up really pretty now I am gonna have to um, stabilize this I'm, I'm gonna have to try to find either a bigger pole or uh, find a way to put some epoxy down in there but um, you can see I've got two holes cut out on either side of the on each nacelle and it, you can see that it's shining real nice and pretty on the back of the saucer there all the lights on the windows are coming through uh, I'll turn it around and I'm like I said I'm sorry she's not completely stabilized yet but uh, I've got the um, bottom floodlight on the sensor dome put on and then at the back there of the neck you can see right here uh, you can see here the it the holes are lit up I've still got just a little bit of work there to do to uh, make that look a little bit better on there and then I still got to put my um, deflector dish on but uh, <clears throat> got all the windows cut out on the bottom as it is um, the I did this uh, I did some research and I looked at uh, the studio model and originally the navigational lights did not flash on the Excelsior 
uh, but uh, I decided to do something a little bit different and and uh, make these flash and uh, normally up here on the uh, Excelsior there was not a strobe light up here but uh, the client wanted to strobe so uh, <clears throat> it looks good I still gotta do some uh, puttying and and uh, uh, getting that all blocked in to where there's no to where there's let me get a <clears throat> let me get my pointer here to where there's no um, light leaks you can see right here that there's no there's a little bit of a light leak so I'm gonna do is put some putty all the way around to fill into where it's only just the just the forward floodlight that comes out of the the uh, the top there and I'll spin her around and you can see the you can see the flickering of the of the um, uh, impulse engines um, had a little bit of problem this was wanting to not wanting to sit down seat properly on here so it kind of I'll try to see if I can't figure something out here but uh, <clears throat> I'll show you up underneath you see the the uh, impulse uh, the the um, cargo cargo bay got the three little right there above my fingers you can see the um, little windows the client requested to put in and then the port and starboard or the port and starboard side um, navigational marker lights there uh, on that and uh, I've still got to like I said I still got to put on do a few things put on the uh, uh, shuttle bay put on uh, the this piece that goes up underneath that goes up underneath here it's gonna sit in like that and I still got to paint the um, the little glass that goes in there so once you get it in there you you'll be able to see you know you won't be able to see as much but what I'll do now is I'll turn the lights off to where you can see a better better picture in the dark <clears throat> and you can see it's again I apologize for the blues and stuff for washing out uh, any of the light but I mean you can see the the uh, the lighting comes through on this thing really well uh, on that what I did was I took uh, some uh, 0805 um, uh, LED strip strip tape and went around uh, run around the bottom of the the bottom saucer to where it'll flash up and see to where you can have the windows coming through really nice so you have really <clears throat> the windows on the side of the ship coming through really well take you on the bottom and show you the all the lights on the bottom those are coming those come through like really well so uh, <clears throat> it's looking good uh, gotta you know do the putty in and and light leaking and light blocking for the light leaks and whatnot and so Couple more days worth of work on her on the primary work, and she'll be ready for the, the Aztec masking, which is going to be fun. So, looking forward to it. Um, so, uh, next time you see it, I'll uh, have a little bit of the, I'll have the putty work done and Aztec, and you know the the light leaks fixed and all that. So, um, there's a few windows here that have I've still got to kind of clean out, so where the the light will come through. So. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this, uh, this episode, so, uh, talk to you later, and we'll see you next round. Uh, happy modeling, everybody. Good night.